select an identity from the list on the right for the given expression. We are given the expression cosine to the fourth x minus sine to the fourth x. For the first step, let's factor this expression. We can factor this trig expression just like we factor the algebraic expression a to the fourth minus b to the fourth as a difference of squares. Where this factors into two binomial factors, where one binomial factor is a squared plus b squared, and the other is a squared minus b squared. Applying this to the trig expression, cosine to the fourth x minus sine to the fourth x, we will have two factors where one factor is cosine squared x plus sine squared x, and the second factor is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. From here we should recognize that cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to one using the Pythagorean identity shown here below, and therefore the expression simplifies to cosine squared x minus sine squared x, which we could factor again as a difference of squares, but instead, let's try to write this in terms of one trig function rather than two, which means we can perform a substitution for cosine squared x or sine squared x. Let's try performing a substitution for cosine squared x. Since sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one, notice how if we subtract sine squared theta from both sides, we would have the new identity cosine squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. Let's substitute one minus sine squared x for cosine squared x. Performing the substitution gives us the quantity one minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. Simplifying, we have one and then negative sine squared x minus sine squared x is negative two sine squared x, giving us minus two sine squared x. And therefore the given expression simplifies to one minus two sine squared x, which is the last choice in our list, and therefore we select one minus two sine squared x. I hope you found this helpful.